welcome in, guys. Welcome in. I'm sorry that I haven't been tapped in like since earlier. Um, like I say, I am gonna do some other stuff. Probably starting like tomorrow because I got to get my weight up. You know, get my weight up. Got to get my cake up so I can bake up. And I want to take the break and break the snake stuff. Yeah. Go on and take the rake and rake the snakes up. Got to give my weight up. Got to give my weight up. Go on ahead and bake up. Got to give my cake up. Yeah. So, guys, let me find my little water. Yeah. It seemed like my little body. Now my little body is kind of thick. It was looking kind of chunky. <clears throat> Just since I haven't been showing myself. <coughs> rather in my robes and stuff. And um, I didn't have these robes for about. A year. A year and a half. It's time to get rid of these. Uh, I think I'm going to go look for me like a black one. I mean, I've been so m messed up. Like, <coughs> I know people <coughs> know people be messing around with my finances <coughs> and doing them a bunch of heavy stuff. But, um, they have to give all that back and they gonna give it back in flesh. They ass ain't gonna ever get no rest. They ass gonna be stressed and pressed, depressed and oppressed, like from just messing with more and whoever else in the collective with us. Not just more, but us. But anyway, you know, you can't tell these great pretenders like anything, motherfuckers. They swear they know the most and doing the most with black magic. You got to be the weakest link there is to ever just think that you outpowering anybody if you got to use something. Anything that use the word use <laughs> is not good okay that's the same difference in I was about to do a read earlier and I'm gonna have to think back to it but it's a word And people try to make it look like, dang, what was that? Anytime you got the use someone Anything to do with the word use in a human being, I, I mean, well, no, nah, I'm not going to say it like that because, you know, we all have to, I need to use the restroom and use, um, okay, yeah, 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 earlier I was thinking it right, I was putting it in the right category. So, guys, anytime you got to use the word use and it's to do with a human, now, you could use an object or a thing or the restroom or a, you could use the pencil. You could use, you know, and it'll be helpful for you. But anytime you add the word use with A person like 
Okay, say for instance, another person want to use Cindy. That, okay, we could say that it got different scenarios. Okay, say for instance, we were in school or something of that nature. Say, for instance, we was in school or whatever. Um, and the teacher come and be like, it's more or less like your second period teacher. And she come to your third period teacher and tell her or him, do you mind if I use Susie for a minute to do something like in a positive way? But anytime a partner if they not asking you to come here for a minute and they just want to flat out use your ass, that is not good, okay? Like, it's not like, oh, all I did was use her ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's in a negative way. And the way they're putting forth the the meaning of it, like they want it to just use you like in a ill way, a ill mannered way. Like huh, I don't know, it's a whole bunch of things I can use that's objects. I refuse to, like, I would more or less prefer using the word borrow. Let me borrow Susie for a minute instead of use. Because use to me is just, when it comes to the way people think they're doing it in an ugly way, uh, it could never. It, it could be negatively, figuratively spoken. Like you're getting used. Like, and then they're gonna ball you up like you're a piece of paper, or they used you like you were a piece of paper, balled you up, and threw you in the trash. Like. I'm done with you after I've used you for everything I can get, everything in my power, my whatever, and I'm out. I have no more use for you. I don't need to use you anymore because I didn't found another person to use that's going that's allowing me to use them way more than what you allowed me to do. This is, for instance, um, this is more or less what this Cormac masculine was saying. Like, and if you ever bumped into him and he was with this Cormac or You both got the win of one another and knew what it was and who. This person would jump all, you know, in some certain manner towards you because this person told a lot of lies that they can't even begin to, like, they lie. And they're more or less embarrassed because that person is more or less on their level and 
I'm getting that you check them and let them have it. Like, you let them know what the deal was. This fool feel outdone. This fool, like, I don't know where this person came from. Whatever hurt that this person is dealing with is embedded, rooted, seated, and all of that. And But this reading, more or less, is on he's on some shit and she's on some shit. He's on some shit and she's on some shit. Like... This is two people that pretty much is pretty much sad. Like, basically, him dealing with her actually pulled, drove him into a lot of addictions where these people don't even really have no life, like no real major social life that they legitimately do like they could go out to eat uh, some every now and then or to a place a business or something like that to the store and all this and that and the other but in the third but these two right here ever since they met each other like they world is wrapped around and secluded with what they have been doing that is not that great. Like, although she tries to play, this is a person also that this karmic masculine is stuck with. He met her and they like had sex on the first night. And it also, something could have also happen to where he got triggered and mad at some certain point and out of anger, he could have did something ugly to this karmic, like to where he got him in trouble, like with the police where he got stopped and got and had to get bonded. And um, this is the person that have to like drink a beer. <coughs> <coughs> Not just a beer, but beers every day this is a person that also snort powder and the person that he's with I think this karmic masculine is with they do powder lines and they do pills or they could only be doing pills, you know, like the narcos and somers. This karmic she acts as though she could be in her 30s or maybe 40. And she acts as though, oh, my bad, my bad, be hurting me, yada, yada, yada. But it's not that it's, they don't have too much of nothing in common but the grimy stuff that they do in the dark like they do things where more or less they think is hidden like this masculine could have been ran through Cormac masculine because this person could be 
looking at their shadow, but may feel as though they don't have to because they're settling like with this person that they're with that is going to accept them no matter what. Like, because she's on a very, very, very low vibration. This Cormac could have had children by other partners and the other partners got have taken the children like this Cormac like Again, I state, and I said it the other day, she feels, though, that this masculine drove her to losing, like, her children or other things or whatever. So she feel like she got something on them or a hanks on them or a hold on them to do with something major. Maybe he has to be with her or she, like, maybe what I'm stating, like, he hit her or he did something of that sort to where mm -hmm. So where this Cormac was like, in order for her to drop the charges, like he had she got something on him enough to destroy him like these people they could have got so wow and extravagant with their sexual desires to where they started piddling around in drugs like doing powder and stuff and this is what they're doing like, and all these people do all day. People like that, like, if they don't have no means of being out or having to have to be out in society, like, in the daytime, these people are secluded, like, in the daytime. Like, they stay hidden out, and they're like vampires. Like, they're, they're literally like vampires that come out at night. Like, not only that, but just, like, the freaks come out at night type. Sh freaks come out at night. Like, he owns some shit and she owns some shit and the freaks come out at night. And that's basically what these two people are doing, not meaning to talk about them or anything. But if you're going to bob low and you're going to push your weight or the narrative of lying instead of being genuine and tell the truth and you're a free-willed grown-ass person but you choose to pull people into your mess and then think that it's just going to go away like that instead of you being truthful and genuine and there's no telling what could happen so you don't want to play in the devil's playground like that. And that's exactly what this masculine did. And so now they're hooked and like, they just lie. Like these people are people that are up getting high with 
a lie, high with the lie, and he on some shit, she on some shit, and the freaks come out at night. You will see these people or this masculine moving around at night like Like, I can't do this in the daytime. Let me creep. Yeah, I creep. Yeah. Oh, I creep. Yeah. Well, how that song go? Whatever, yeah. This person, he on some shit, she on some shit. And they creeping, right? So... Creeping and at night they be he be leaping and this is crazy like they just <clears throat> whatever house this is or some more this Cormac could be on housing where. Whatever little income she get, they go by that or whatever. But these people are mentally unstable. They could be awakening to the truth. I'm getting that this Cormac and Masculine like went out of town for a while to stay ducked off. And then came back and, like, he lost completely everything, but refusing to believe that this Cormac was the one that was spewing out all this magic. This Cormac, you could have told them, too, that she knew what she was doing. This Cormac knew what she was doing, and she worked this masculine down to nothing where he would have to sit in her face and face the music of everything that she knows and everything that he done, like she could act as though it doesn't bother her and all of this and that, but it really does. And she's she knew what she was doing. Like this karmic plays and magic, pays for magic, does magic, could have even influenced him to do it over you and all of it is backfiring like really just like getting themselves in a big mess that they could have avoided. But nah, they wanted to keep up with the game. So Sex Addict Bill is what it is, Cormac Veal, Sex Addict Veal, Lying Veal, Sneaking Veal, Cheating Veal, Stealing Veal, in an automobile, and that's Trill, even in a hat that's Teal, I'm telling you, it's just real, real, but like, 